Hello, Cancer. Welcome to my channel, Awaken with Nancy. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. And if you are a returning viewer, I just want to say welcome back and thank you for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, today's reading is going to be a timeless reading. And what I mean by that is if you are watching this three months, six months after the video has been posted and the messages are resonating with you, then you were definitely meant to hear them. Okay. So there's no time frame for these messages. This is, um, these are the messages that your guides, your collective of guides wants you to have. So today the messages coming through are going to be from your angels, your guides, your ancestors, and your loved ones who have passed on to the spirit realm. Um, it is general, um, not going to resonate with everybody. You may want to check out videos for your moon and rising signs as well to get a clearer picture. Um, before I get into the reading though, I just want to make a quick announcement. I'm going to pin a comment down below with a link to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. Um, on my website, you can sign up to receive my newsletter, book a tarot oracle reading, um, a transformational coaching session, an energy healing. You can even purchase a pre recorded introduction to tarot class on there. I'm also going to provide links for my social media accounts, Facebook, and Instagram. I recently started creating content on my Instagram that I'm not sharing on YouTube. And so you may want to go check that out. It is Awaken with Nancy as well. I uploaded um, two videos in the last um, two days. And happy full moon, you guys. It's a full moon in Aquarius today. Um, I recorded uh, a video for the collective yesterday um, with the full moon energy. So I pulled cards for the full moon, um, very transformative energy, um, which is to be expected at a full moon. So you may want to check that out. Today, I uploaded a video about courage and inner strength and what does it really mean to have courage. So I, you know, I talk about that and I share some examples from my own life about, you know, moving forward despite feeling fear. So anyway, if you want to check those out, great. If not, that's okay too. So I want to just get going. Um, I've already pulled the cards for the reading, so I'm just going to run through the messages. And I love the energy. It's looking really good. There's a lot of divine protection around you right now. So you may be feeling that. And we've got magic. Um, I mean, this is gorgeous. What a, what a wonderful way to start the reading. Um, I love the colors. I love the feeling of this. Um, just beautiful. I, with the other messages that are coming through, I'm really feeling that you're, as you move forward on your path, it's, it's going to be like, things magically appear, things magically happen. It's, there's going to be such a magical feeling, um, like every, like it's just meant to be. And I, I love this. It's going to be a very exciting time for you, Cancer. Um, things are just going to click. And so I do want to read from the guidebook a little bit because these are very deep, profound messages and I have not memorized them at all. Of course, I do use my intuition and channeled messages, but I just feel like there's something in here that um, I that needs to come through and I may not be able to intuit it. So here we go. This symbol represents the infinite intelligence of great spirit that makes up the fundamental fabric of the universe. We experience the evidence of this magic through synchronicity or meaningful coincidence. And so what I'm getting from this is there are going to be a lot of signs for you moving forward. Um, your spirit team is going to be sending you signs. There are going to be so many synchronicities um, and it may benefit you to journal about these, to have um you know, to have them down in writing so that you can go back and you can look at the progression and so that you don't forget anything. Um, what often happens for me is um, I will get a lot of signs or a lot of downloads or something, but not everything makes sense to me immediately. Um, sometimes it does take a while for me to interpret it. And this is something that I'm feeling for you as well. Cancer, you're incredibly intuitive, incredibly deep. Um, so I, yeah, I'm just one 
wanting to encourage you to keep a running list of these downloads and these signs that are coming through for you. The invitation um, from this card, uh, it says, when magic appears, you're invited to see the world through the eyes of wonder and awe, taking on the innocence of a child who knows that all things are possible. Infinite potential exists in the great mind and you are being invited to call it in and recognize the dance in synchronistic events, signs, symbols, and omens giving to you, given to you through the oracle of the ordinary world. This is a sign that spirit is reminding that you that you co-create your world in a sacred partnership. I'm freaking out right now. I'll share that with you in a moment. Why your part is to dream, to intend, and to watch for the signs that show up, show you what next action to take. Right now, it appears that you are on the right track to make your dreams come true. Great spirit is listening and acting on your behalf. Pay attention. Magic gives birth to miracles. Wow. And so the reason I'm getting chills and freaking out is because we've got the crow spirit and the crow spirit says co-create with spirit. And this is exactly what the magic card is saying. It's saying um, this is a sign that spirit is reminding you that you co-create your co-create your world in a sacred partnership. So uh, amazing. It's like, uh, I love the way that this is coming together. Magic gives birth to miracles. And you guys, there are so many transformations coming through. I, I do, you know, get comments on my channel that nothing is happening. And you guys, you just have to believe um, much of it is about divine timing. Much of it is about you preparing and you being ready for the magic and the miracles because what what is not going to happen is your spirit team is not going to bring forth the magic and the miracles prematurely you've got to be set up for it you've got to be prepared you've got to be ready you've got to um, have done the majority of your healing um, you know it's it's about being at the right energetic vibration to receive the magic to receive these miracles um, you know, it's it's not enough to like set your intentions and think optimistically. You've got to take action. And this is something that a lot of people just really don't understand or they reject or, you know, they they resist it. They resist the taking action part, but that's what gets you there, okay? That is really what helps create the um the magic and the miracles. So, you guys, um I pulled from the Akashic Tarot and you've just got some amazing energy. Uh, so I do want to go through this with you. I thought, um, yeah, bear with me. Okay, we've got the Six of Keys, the Increscent Moon. Um, this is an amazing energy. Um, this says the waxing moon on the card shows an exciting time of increased abundance and growth. Your efforts have combined with external circumstances and even the stars have aligned. So this is really interesting that the increscent moon is coming up right now as we're um, at the full moon. So what I'm feeling, um, this is, uh, yeah, this is the um, waxing moon. So what I'm feeling is that after the new moon, okay, after we get to the new moon, the, it will be in a waxing cycle. So it's going to be in its growth phase. It's going to move toward full again. So once we get to the new moon and it starts going into that waxing phase, I feel like you're going to start seeing a lot of these signs and synchronicities. And so you guys, that's only a couple weeks away. So start journaling now, start preparing, start really, really paying attention. Let's see if there's anything else that needs to come through on this. Okay, if things have been financially tight for you, recently relax. There is great opportunity for increase and in fulfillment in every way. So just do your work and get ready to receive. Okay. That's what I was talking about, doing your work. You've got to do your work. You've got to take action. And then you're going to start receiving. If you're not doing your work, 
um, you're not going to receive. It's just the law of, you know, the universe. And then we've got this amazing um, King of Roses that came through for you guys. And this is either about you or somebody who is coming into your life. It could indicate that you are going to um, come into union with a love interest. And just because it's a king and it's depicted as a man doesn't mean that it is a man, okay? It's, it's not gender specific, you guys. It could be a woman. I have a lot of different people that are watching my channel um, you know, uh, heterosexuals, homosexuals. I mean, it just runs the gamut. So, um, just keep that in mind. Um, this says that, yeah, there could be a union in friendship, business, or even romance. Um, there's, this could be, yeah, this could be a new relationship or the blossoming of an old one. Um, this man brings tender, heart hearted, and thoughtful support. He is someone who could be helpful in your personal life, especially where home or family issues are concerned. It's a time of increasing love and compassion, which always starts within. You guys, I'm stuck on that homosexual comment. Um, I don't particularly like that word, um, but it's what came through. So I truly hope that you weren't offended. Um, you know, I don't like those hetero homo uh, words, but I don't know. It's it's what came through. Um, it could be a trigger for you. Um, th this, if it is, if it did trigger you, then that is something to look at. But I'm stuck on that for some reason. So it really could be a trigger. Um, it's I, I'm feeling triggered. Um, <laughs> it's, so anyway, uh, not sure what to do with that. Okay. Um, we've got the bullying prevention angel and i love this um it's not that you have to be like actively aggressively bullied but what this is saying your spirit team wants you to know that um people can bully us in very subtle ways um i i'm feeling that this is protection from manipulation of others, okay? Um, sometimes people will try to bully us or manipul manipulate us very subtly into um, going along, into seeing things the way that they see things. Um, it's like they want us to agree with them. And so you are protected against this bullying energy, this subtle manipulation, um, you know, people trying to push you in a direction where you don't want to go on a path that you don't want to go. So you are divinely protected. And the next message that's coming through, you got two cards from this deck and it's guardian angel. So your guardian angel is very much with you. I love this. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. If you look at that, um, this came through for a friend of mine and she connects with Archangel Michael and she said, that's exactly how I imagine that he looks. Um, so that might be meaningful to you, um, whoever you really feel connected to. But your guardian angel is very much with you as you move into this very magical phase of your life. And one of my cards just fell down. So I'm going to have to go get that. It is the last one coming through. Um, so I'll wait on that. Now we've got the King of, sorry, Queen of Gabriel. This is the Queen of Wands. And I love seeing this um, because the Queen of Wands is very magnetic. Um, you could have fire in your chart, um, Aries Leo or um, uh, Sagittarius, you guys. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, you could have fire in your chart, um, does not have to be, but this is about being passionate. It's about, um, yeah, having passion, having drive. It's um, charming, brilliant, independent. So this is, uh, this is really related to like the third chakra. It's like there's there is you're going to be moving into a place where you just feel like the world is your oyster 
everything is opening up for you um and you're going to you're going to be at the height of your confidence. You are going to feel more passionate than ever. Um, this is what your guides are helping you with. And this says you can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. And so I do feel like um, what your guides want you to know uh, is that there is a new soul tribe coming in for you. Um, there are going to be people coming into your life. The King of Roses could be one of those, okay? So the King of Roses either represents you, um, another person, or it could represent, you know, you and another person. Um, the, but this King of Roses, I feel, is is somebody separate from you that's coming in to help you. Um, and it could be a mentor even uh, because the King you know, represents self-mastery. Um, so I love this. Uh, very confident, strong, strong energy. Um, and, you know, we're going into Leo season. And so this is perfect. You know, very Leo energy in there. You could have Leo in your chart. Um, we've got Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sight sights high, expect the best possible outcome. And this came through right next to the queen, the queen of Gabriel. And this is amazing. It's just a very complimentary message. So your guides are, are wanting you to have the self-confidence to move forward and really claim your power, reclaim your power, um, really move in to this place of believing that anything is possible because it is. And I'm going to quote um, Audrey Hepburn. Um, she says anything is anything is possible the the no, i'm sorry you guys nothing is impossible the very word says i'm possible and so this is what i'm feeling for you very strongly now two other messages came through um in this deck and we've got dual cool i don't even know how to pronounce this you guys but it's dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. This is about, yes, being in the present moment. Dharma is unfolding. Dharma is our life path, okay? Um, karma is from past lives, uh, the way I see it. And that's not an exact, you know, that's not it's not exactly the truth, but anyway, this is the way I'm reading it in this reading, okay? The way I'm interpreting it in this reading. Um, Dharma is your path forward. It is your life path. It's your life purpose. It's, um, you know, it's your calling. And so your calling, your soul's calling, it's unfolding before you. Um, stay in the present moment. Everything is unfolding um, as it is meant to be. And it's, there's a lot of happiness, joy, um, just, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, uh, like that card said, childlike like wonder. Um, it's it's like uh, you're re-invitalized, you're reinvigorated, you're excited about life again. Um, you may have been going through a period where uh, you know your energy was a little bit drained, off center, off balance. Um, but I really feel like this increase in vitality, like your um, energetic vibration, is getting. Um, stronger uh, your frequency is getting higher um, your light is shining brighter this is amazing and then we've got Isis magic manifesting so you guys it's really significant that the word magic is coming through twice in this reading um, your dreams visions and goals are becoming reality stay focused so um wow you know this is it's, it's the same messages, just believe in yourself, believe in yourself, cancer. And, you know, it's interesting because the Gemini reading, they got two messages that said your dreams are becoming reality. So if you have Gemini in your chart, you may want to take a look at that. And then we've got Lem the Lemuria card. This came through for one other sign. This is only the... Um, fourth reading I've done and so this is this is coming through for two signs and it says creating heaven on earth it's happening and you guys we are at the time of the new earth 
things are shifting. Even if you feel like things are getting worse with this crazy pandemic and you know all this craziness, the political scene and all that, um, you may feel like things are getting worse, but they're not. They're actually getting better. We are at this time of a new earth. We are at the great awakening. Um, the masses are awakening right now, and there's a major shift within the collective. Um, light workers are being called forth. I feel that you are a light worker, Cancer, and um, this is what your spirit team wants you to know, um, that you are being called forth. You are um, being asked to, you know, follow the call of your soul. Um, think about how you can be of service. Think about how you can step up and make a difference um, uh, for, you know, here in the 3D realm, but um, within the collective. And, you know, how can you help raise the vibration of the planet? This is all the things that I'm feeling. Now, you guys, um, this is going to be interesting. I am I'm on my phone, so I can't pause the video. Um, I either have to stop it and lose it, or so I'm gonna go under my desk and get this card. I'll be right back. All right. So we've got the baby steps card. So pretty. So pretty. Um, this says action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. And so I want to go back to the um, magic card. Um, this is a follow up to that. This is a follow up message. Um, what your guides want you to know, as I was saying before, um, some of the messages coming through for you, some of the signs and the synchronicities, they may not make sense to you. Um, you may not see them as signs. You may not believe that they're signs. Um, but that's why I'm encouraging you to keep a journal, um, you know, a running history of what's coming up for you, um, of these downloads, so that, you know, you can look at them on a daily basis if needed to make sense of them and really tap into your intuition and go with um, the first thing that comes to you, the first thing that feels really good, because that is often the truth. Um, so yes, pay attention to your intuition, the signs, and you know, keep moving forward even if you don't have clarity, even if things are not making total sense to you, um, the clarity will come. Your spirit team is on your side. They are going to be guiding you, leading you down this path. So I'm, I'm really loving that. Um, now, I, I want to get one final card for you, but I'm not really sure. Um, you know, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull from my spirit cat oracle deck i found this woman on instagram her name is nicole pr it's um p-i-a-r and she is a very whimsical fantastic artist she created this deck she hand painted these and then had the cards reproduced and they're just so cute they each um feature a little spirit cat and she names them all and there's a beautiful message on the back. So this is the spirit cat that you got cancer and the title of this is warrior and this just came through for another sign as well. Um, meet Mishkin, rough and tumble. He knows his teeth are sharp and his claws are prized possessions. I'm so sorry you guys. I hope you cannot hear that horn outside. He knows his teeth are sharp and his claws are his prized possession, carefully honed to points. He is a little ninja, but has a heart of love and softness. We can call on Mishkin when we need to stand up for ourselves, set boundaries, or be daring. So whether you are about to climb a giant boulder or take a leap of faith or ask to be paid what you're worth, remember little Mishkin and his bravery. 
yes, he did whack that big scary dog on the nose, even though he is only a kitten. So I want to um, just um, back it up a little bit and go over um, one of these sentences. We can call on Michigan when we need to stand up for ourselves, set boundaries, or be daring. And you guys did get this message from the bully prevention angel. Um, so there is a message. Your guides are wanting you to really pay attention to your boundaries. Um, your guides are really wanting you to start standing up for yourself. Um, even if it makes other people in your life uncomfortable, it's going to be important for you to follow the beat of your own drum cancer. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it right there. I hope that this reading was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'm sending you lots of love on your journey. Bye-bye.